How do you do? How do you do? Long time no see. All right, nobody calls me. Nobody trace me. Nobody tell me off. I'm here now. You see, as we are approaching the 60th anniversary of Jamaica's political independence, some of us who were born before 1962 start to reflect on some things. And I thought about some landmarks, some businesses, some places in the Kingston and St. Andrew area. I came to Kingston at 9 plus, but of course, we still have my mother yard and my mother in Clarendon. I was driving down Constant Spring Road about a week or so ago, and I saw some stuff that I said, Oh my gosh, it just triggered something in me. You, when you pass um, um, Premier Plaza, so you have Mall and Tropical and Premier Plaza, there is a BNS, a Bank of Nova Scotia building, a bank. Do you know that what used to be there? What used to be there was called the Premier Theatre, the cinema, a cinema, right? And it had the plushest seats, right? You had to have enough money for what that they want, okay? Premier Theatre. I think I, may, I must have gone in there once. But if you go further down, you see where the bus terminus is. I'm not going to come back to talk about the bus terminus. You see where the halfway tree bus, um, bus terminus is. Right on that property was an Odeon uh, cinema that was open air. And that was for the rest of us kind of a thing. <laughs> it was open and you go there and watch your movies. So you have the premier uh, cinema right or theater and then you had the Odeon the Odeon one was on that South Odeon Avenue that strip there come up at the corner of South Odeon Avenue and what is Constant Spring Road and so that theater along with other businesses along South Odeon Avenue on a big parking area that is what was um, turned into the the halfway tree bus um, um, park that elaborate bus park that was done um, some years ago all right so I just want you to remember that things were not always the way they are. Things have changed. So when you cross over the, the, the traffic lights at halfway tree, and from Constant Spring Road to Halfway Tree Road, you have Mandela Park on the left, and that was just an area, but it was named after, you know, our, our relationship with Nelson Mandela and all of that. On the right-hand side across from Mandela Park, there used to be another store there, by the way. Oh, before I do that, you see the left-hand, right, um, Jamaica National coming down Constant Spring Road? That used to be Hannah's Midtown. Oh, yes, they carried nice clothing and stuff. And I used to shop there as well. Hannah's Midtown, where the Jamaica National Big Office is now at, at uh, Constant Spring Road, right at the traffic light. So let me go back now. So we cross over the traffic light and we have what used to be Aquarius Studio. Uh, Herman Chin, I think it was, who operated that, and maybe his family, Aquarius Studio. You know how much record from the 70s uh, it is making another studio there? Aquarius Studio. And then, after Aquarius Studio now, a door down or immediately, was Skateland. And man, people used to turn up at Skateland to, for their skating adventures. Mm-hmm, right there in a the halfway tree. There was a popular barber shop there. I used to go there sometimes, right beside Skateland. I can't remember the name now. But let us walk with me now. So we're at the clock at halfway tree, in the middle of halfway tree. You go over the clock on the left hand side after you pass what is now NCB. There used to be a training school for Barclays Bank, and Barclays Bank was a forerunner for NCB. NCB is the Indigenous Bank. But next door to that was the um, training school, yes, for Barclays Bank, VIP Lounge. One serious club, VIP Lounge. I don't think I ever went into it. I might have been too young. Or maybe I went into it once. All right, so come with me. So we're going down halfway tree road, right? And we're, we're passing Holy Childhood on the, well, Victoria Mutual and Holy Childhood on the right. But let us stop at Cecilia Avenue. I got my license, I think, in 1972 or 73. And the tax office, yeah, that you know, have up a constant spring road, that big tax office, that tax office was at the Cecilia Avenue and halfway tree road. See my license here, me go look for it, right? That is me when me get my license the first time, okay? And it tell, this is it, it came into a nice little case. And I just went and found it. I've kept, I kept this, right? And so that is what was there. Cecilia Avenue and Halfway Tree Road, the, the tax office. Man, I'm telling you, these are just some wonderful memories. Anyway, and... Uh, I'm going to tell you about one or two other things. So you go down concert, um, Halfway Tree Road and you pass my church, Webster Memorial United Church. And on the right hand side, what do you call Flo now? That was, <laughs> my things changed, I'm telling you. That, that was a telephone company, you see? And they, they, lots of things happened there 
at the telephone company outside on the sidewalk were call boxes long before there was whatsapp and email and text you people would go and wait their turn put the money in the in the telephone boxes to call them friends and then jamaica our family and overseas call boxes man and that was the um, carlton exchange that entire area was a carlton exchange the exchange for the telephone company but i want to stop with two things going further down just after you pass what is now flow what was telephone company at carlton exchange the first pizza place on the same side this is now before you come to that road where you have national continental the first pizza place that i can recall cloud nine Anybody remember Cloud 9? Upon the right hand side of their past telephone company, or flow going towards Crossroads. The first pizza place, Cloud 9. Mercy, I'm remembering. And I want to take you right down now further across from, uh, what is it now? When you go down and you pass the bakery, right? And you go into Halfway Tree. There was a cinema there. I think that was State Cinema. But what I want to tell you about, there was a place there called Tops, T-O-P-S. And that was the first Kentucky Fried Chicken kind of establishment in Jamaica. Tops with a kind of oval uh, arching top, right? And man, that was somewhere where we used to go to, to get our chicken. The same way not dead over the regular Kentucky Fried Chicken now, Tops. So perhaps you can go and look at the archives and look at what Jamaica was like uh, 20, 30, 40 years ago, some of the landmarks, the way things have changed, you know, and um, just inform yourself, okay? Just inform I'm going to do another one because there are so many of them, them changed over time, the 30, 40, 50 years, you know, I'm going to do another one about the change. But put your comments in and uh, if you have questions about other things, put them in as well and share with anyone who would like to know or interested in how things have changed. Faye Ellington reminding you that um, we are in reigniting a nation for greatness. Reigniting a nation for greatness is a theme for our celebrations for the 60th anniversary and you've got to play your part. Yes, you have to play your part. So until next time, walk good and tell them other one how to do.